Parashat Chukat. In this parashat, the Torah tells us about the death of Aaron. Where was the death of uh, Aaron took place? On a mountain called Hohaha. That was the name of the mountain. That means Rashi tells us that even though the Ananim smoothed out all the mountains, but three mountains were left. Har Sinai for Torah, Har Tavor for Anavo for Moshe Rabbeinu, and Ho Now why was it called Ho Ho means mountain on top of a mountain, because that's how it was. It was a mountain on top of a mountain. So they went... Everywhere, everywhere was smoothed out? Everywhere was smoothed out. I mean, in the midbar, in, in the midbar, in the midbar. Everywhere place was smoothed out. But these three mountains in the midbar were kept. Now, the Pasuk says like this, that they came to Ho'ar, and, and Akash Bo'ar tells Moshe, listen, it's time to uh, Aaron should pass away. So go up to the mountain of Ho'ar, with together with Raza Beno, and they went up there, and there was a cave, and in this cave there was a bed with a, with a candle. And Aaron removed his big day kuna and Elazar put it on and it fit. And then Aaron lied down on the bed and Moshe Abinu said, close your hands, put your feet together, close your eyes, and that's how Aaron was going to die. Then, when the Torah tells us they came down the mountain, you know what the Torah says, how they came down the mountain, the Pasuk says? It's, it's missing the word Ho'ar. Again, first it says they came to Ho'ar. Akosh Boro tells Moshe, take Aaron to Ho'ar. They go to Ho'ar. They go up to Ho'ar. And then, the last time, it says, they went down Minhaha. It doesn't say Hoha. Yeah, a mountain on a mountain. Uh, the the whole time the Torah is calling you Hoha. Why doesn't it? So why did it have to say four? So four other times it has to say Hoha. Four times it has to say the fifth time not. He lost his Kiddusha when he went out. He lost his Kiddusha. What? And now. No, what does that mean? Wait, wait, it's, 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 it's you know, you know, like you're groping in the dark and you're touching something, but what does that mean? Explain it. Explain it. What does that mean? No, there's a special oh, mountain for oh, no. it, it happens to be, it's in, today it's in Jordan. And it's more challenging when you, when you, when you say what I had to actually do it. You know, in your mind, hold on, hold on, hold on, it's like a hard feat to accomplish. But once you did it already, that's it. It's a hard already. And why is it a hard feat? I heard what you said. they're on top already. Like, once you got on top, you did it. it my difficult. friend, my friend, they didn't have any problem going up. They went fast and then an escalator. Or oh, what are these things that take you up? You know, what's it called? Like no, the, uh, know, the trolley. The, 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 yeah, he stopped. This is too fast. Moshe Rabbeinu, when he went up by the he took one jump and got up there. One jump and he's up. That's it. So why is over here, why did they... Oh, the Tibor is answering because after our own death, it's only called Ha'ar, not Ho'ar. Why? I want to say something very scary. You ready? Get buckle yeah, in. Buckle yeah. in. Buckle in. Yeah, good. Do people go to Aaron's Kever? No. Well, I don't know where it is. Yeah, I don't know where it is. Yeah, I don't know where that went. No, but there isn't. Uh, the pilgrims don't go. You don't have people going. Tomorrow to Rakhpeh, where they go. Well, we know where it is? Ha- sure we know it's where it is. It's in Jordan. Oh, uh, yeah. But yeah, you don't have people. You, know, you hear of a person going. I know someone that put on his uh, baseball hat and went there. But you don't find people going. Right? Why not? Why not? The Torah went ahead and took off the word Horah to make it by Yehu and Moshe and Adam and Adam say, that now this mountain is going to be a regular mountain, not something special. And I'll explain you why. Why? Yeah, not something special. Why? I'll explain you. Because that's a cloud. Oh. Because what? Today you did good work. 
We were afraid that they make a place that they'll go and worship it. They'll go worship where Aaron is, is buried. Then why do you even tell us where he is? Moshe, they're also worried about the Tzimian. They didn't tell us. Because the Torah is coming to bring that out. We don't want, you should go to worship Kvarim. Why do we know where Merat Machpelah is? We're not supposed to go to Kibbutz. Oh, very good. So why aren't we afraid of Merat Machpelah? Oh, Ma said, no one worships Merat Only in Russia there's a place that they worship Rachman Otsman. What about Kibbutz Machpelah? But normally it is Safat in the north. You know where I'm talking about. About Uman, Uman. But no one, we don't worship. Now, why was there Sakana by Aaron? Do you remember who was involved with the egg? Uh, wow. Aaron was involved with the egg. Hazak. Hazak. Aaron was involved with the egg, right? He helped build the Mizbeach. Good, he meant he had good intentions, but did he lose two children because of the egg? That's the rabbi's chidush? That's my chidush. Wow. So if, if Aaron's kever was a sakana, because if the people go since he once was involved with the egg, so the minute uh, the Satan come and say, come on, Abba, time, make this a makom, Abba, this a Come on, come on, boys, come on, boys. So the Efa Kosh couldn't let them. So he made it, in other words, he took out the whole enjoyment, the whole emunah to go to Kever of our own. We don't go to Kever of our own. We do go. Because if there's no Sakana, it's only over here that there's a Sakana. Wow. You got the Chidush. You got the Chidush. Yes, I got it. The reason why the Torah, all the time says, oh, but when Vayera Moshe Minahar, now it's a regular mountain. Regular mountain. There's nothing special. Nothing special there. What do you mean? There's a thousand. No, no, nothing special. Why? Because if it would become special, what would happen? They would make it into an Avodah like they did over there in, 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 in Russia. In Ukraine. What does Rashi say? Nothing. Wow. So I can only answer in a grammar level, in a grammar, uh, <coughs> yeah. from a grammar point of view, that they went up Horahar, that's the name of the mountain, since the mountain had a name, it would say the name. So they went up to Horahar, and they came off from the mountain, Ahar. They came off the mountain. Because, because four times. Have a subject. Because we need to mention the subject once. That's right. After that, you, you just mention. Right. Four, four times. Four times. Four times it's mentioned. Horahar, Horahar, Horahar. Oh, I'll get it, get it. Yeah, so and then the last time I hear, after the burial, after the burial, I hear the Moshe, it wasn't Minah. Again, I hear the Moshe, it wasn't Minah. That's why in the Torah it just says, ha, ah, it doesn't say, ha, ah, because to tell us that I could took out, you have to, you know, see what I'm saying? Okay. took out this this feeling in us that maybe we should go to the of our own. Let's go, let's go to the camera of our own. You don't have it. No one's going. You find single people want to be, you so know, like, even like there? pioneers going on. Why didn't he make a way where it is? Because why did the Torah make Because he, he deserves to be make a way. He's very down. He's very good. Because by him there's a sakana because he was involved in it. You like that. You like that. It's, you can say it over. Yeah, I'm going to say it. You can say it over. Right, say it over. You like it. I like it. Very yeah. good. <laughs> But, but what it means is... Is that about you guys? I guess not. I was going to come. <laughs> He's busy this weekend. <laughs> Check back next weekend. <laughs> Overcrowded, is it? Hotel is closed. <laughs> Too many each guys in one place. Can I come? No, no. No, I want to I'll get you on this Sullivan bus. Don't worry. So, about Tai. In other words, like this. Now, when a person does go to a cavern, Someone today in the morning called the uh, son come with me. My father yesterday went to all the Kvarim in Tveria and he had the rabbi in mind. He comes to tell me that he has me in mind and by all the Kvarim he went and said, please take care of Rabbi Ginsburg. Very beautiful. But you have to be very careful. When you go there, you can't ask him. You just say, he should he pray for you. But not to say, take care of me. So, Take care of me. So I want to say another another chidush. Okay, you ready? This is another chidush. You ready? It says that tamidei chachamim. This is a chidush for you. Take a chair. Here's a couch. Lie down on the couch. This is a chidush. The Gemara says in Sota 
that those Tamidi Chachamim that learn and learn and are find themselves that they're learning even though they don't have the enjoyments of this world. So their tefillot are accepted and there's no blockage of their tefillot. Here in Mara, Mara says that Tamid HaChachamim, they learn Torah regardless if they have a good breakfast, a good lunch, they don't need this whole business, they're learning Torah. Those types of Tamid HaChachamim, their tefillot are right away accepted. Why? Why? I want to say like this. In this week's parasha, the Torah says, Zota tara adam ki amut oil. This is the Torah, a person dies in oil. So what does it mean he dies in oil? He learns Torah in such a manner, in such a way, that everything else is dead. Is that he doesn't go out for enjoyments, he's not interested to get on a boat, he's not interested to get into a fancy car, he's not interested... That's Adam Kiyamut Boel. All the enjoyments of the world are dead. So such a Tamil Chacham, the Torah calls him like he's dead. So he's upstairs. His Tzilot are upstairs. So he's, got, so he's close, so that's why his Tzilot are in. The Tzilot that we daven over here gets blocked. There's a blockage. Big man says, Nina it is blocked. So our Tzilot got in and gets blocked. We, in order to get it in, we have to dry, uh, put some tears. That's how we get it in. But the Talmud Chacham that lives a type of life, that he's not living a type of life of here. He's living a type as if he's there. You understand these earthly enjoyments? Hey, there's not interested in that. Leave me alone. Those people, their tefillot are as if like they're upstairs right That's where they hurt. You're catching up for a Tamil Chacham, is the thing. The Gemara is Tamil Chacham. He lies right away. Yeah. So it must be Tamil Chacham is that the guy that learns Tamil Chacham. Right. That's what's saying. Such a Tamil Chacham. Yeah. Such a Tamil Chacham that doesn't go after the earthly pleasures. He's not interested in it. You understand? He doesn't go on vacations. He doesn't go on no tours. He's busy learning Torah. That's what he's busy with. So one way a story. He had a story, this is a beautiful story. Wow. He was a fellow that became a Baal Tshuva. And his profession was photography. Photography! So he heard... You're not even going to ask what he did before he was a Baal Tshuva. You're not going to know. He was a photographer. So he, photographer. He, wanted, he wanted to go ahead and get... He heard so much about Rebbe Yashiv that he learned so early in the morning and he learned so beautiful, he wanted to get a real picture. So finally he asked and asked and asked, and they allowed him. So three o'clock in the morning, he get a picture of Rabbi Yashu learning. So 3.30 in the morning, he's ushered in, and Rabbi Yashu sat like this by the table, and my dad, there was a door. So he stood by the door, and got his camera all ready to shoot it when he could get him in the right position. Get him in the right place. We'll call David, he's busy with it. It's that guy, we have to tell him the story. David, tell you, but quickly, David, don't fool around, no time, sit down. Quickly, we're doing for you. <laughs> I got you scared, good. Again, there was a photographer that became about Chuva. But he had problems learning. Couldn't learn, it didn't go in his head. What did he do? But he, he heard that by Rabbi Yashiv, he wakes up early in the morning and he learns beautiful. So he wanted to get a picture. So he asked the family again and again, finally they let him in. So 3.30 in the morning they let him into the house. And Rabbi Yashu is sitting there learning, beautiful singing along. And he gets his camera ready to just get the right time when he gets the right picture. And all of a sudden he starts crying. The photographer. And he puts down his camera and starts crying. Crying, Rabbi Yashu hears Rabbi Yashu picks up his hair and says, why are you crying? Come in, why are you crying? So the person answers him, I'm crying, I'm about Shuva, and I can't learn. And I see the rabbi learning so beautiful with such enjoyment. And, and you can see on you the enjoyment of your learning. I started to cry because I, I, I can't do that. 
So Rabbi Yashif told him, your tears that you just now dropped are greater than my learning now. <laughs> no. He went away, good, you're asking good. I don't have an explanation. He went away, this fellow, and then he hired a, 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 a someone to learn with him, and today he's learning Malak. <coughs> so let me tell you, Rebbe Yashif's learning is a lot greater than him. 100%. No, Rebbe Yashif wants to be mechazek him. Wants to give him chizuk. Yeah, David. Wants to give him chizuk. So he told him, but he said it in Jewish, in rhymes. In Jew, I'm going to say it in Jewish. Dein Treren is greater than mein Launen. Treren and Launen rhymes. Means your tears are greater than my warning. But the truth of man, I'm not a Rebbe Yashu's warning. Because Rebbe Yashu was Mekayim, the oven, Kiyomus Boyo. His warning was, was warning uh, Kiyomus Boyo. You ever see his apartment, you saw what he had, not doing nothing, not doing nothing. That was Rebbe Yashu. So, Beschut this Chidushe Torah that we just now said, remember, because Baruch should bless everyone here. We all are Baruchas, and we had in mind David. We said clearly, and David should be Zochet to find the house, the Karov, right next to me. Bez Latashemi Baruch Shemo. On your block. Rabbi, we have to sit on that block for a second.